Hi. Hello there. Lucy Repeat here. How are you doing? This is the third time that I have tried to record this voiceover. Anyway, uh, hopefully I'll do it really, really well this time. And actually press the right button and not get interruptions from notifications on my phone. Anyway, uh, just showing you all the colours that I used. Um, this is a follow-on from the last video. If you haven't seen that, check that out. It's the pastel monstera leaves. Or, or monstera leaves. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Anyway, they're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So I had some stuff left over. We do not waste resin. So I thought I would make some pastel hearts, given that it's Valentine's Day coming up. So I was showing you the colours that I used earlier on, but it's basically the opaque pastel bundle from Resonate. Um, and I've just poured all the colours, the leftover colours, into one pot and I'm doing like a resin dirty pour. Really love this technique. It's, it's just so effective, so easy and it's really, um, really great. To use um, so I'm going to be using this technique I think a lot more um, I have to say though with the pastel colors I possibly wouldn't have stirred next time because these colors blend so well um, they kind of merge a bit too much for my liking I think that te technique would work really really well if you've got contrasting colors like black and white or you know um, quite like to do a navy and white one and then add some accents of of gold um but i'm i'm just so enjoying this hobby i wish i'd discovered this years ago uh, such great fun so i'm just showing you how much i scrape out every single pot and um i don't know why i'm worrying too much about your design here because it really didn't make the blindest bit of difference but you know th this resin I'm using so it's the Viva Vista um, Cascade it's so beautiful and it's normally really really bubble free and um, lovely to work with but it does have a really really long work time and um, it doesn't you can't really draw in it as it were I found that it moves too much um, but that doesn't matter it, it really does create the most beautiful designs and you can see that I'm, I'm really scraping out every single scrap I really love this this yellow um, I thought it was a bit bright actually initially and I did add some extra um, pinata blanca blanco white alcohol ink um, to the slightly brighter colours which were the pink the yellow and the peach um, but I really really like that I wish I'd made up a bit more um, I'm a little bit excited <laughs> doesn't take much so I'm gonna go now because we're going to demold thank you for watching this today isn't it beautiful so let's demold these hearts honestly pouring these was so therapeutic oh no what a shame that there's a couple of holes I'll have to see if I can fix them maybe sand them down wonder how that happened that was the last heart I poured and that was just leftovers to be honest these ones seem to be all right oh they're so shiny I love this mold I first saw this mold on Claire's crafty corner I think we need next more pink next time but these are very pretty aren't they really like them. I have no idea what I'm going to do with all of these, you know. I need to make some K 
keylings or something give them away I need to maybe I'll just chuck some stickers on there to hide those and save a lot of sanding anyway thank you for watching um, just gonna try and change the brightness Thank you for watching.